Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a few different Windows 10 activation errors. So, right off the bat, if you're looking to get some sort of free version of Windows that you didn't already have entitled from a free upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8, this tutorial is not for you. This is for people that are, have a legitimate version of Windows 10 or they have a product key or they've upgraded properly through the proper channels advocated by Microsoft and in that case you're still experiencing activation errors I'm gonna go through what looks to be a very straightforward and completely simple way of how to hopefully resolve the problem we're not showing any product keys in this video that's not what this video is about you're on the wrong video just wanna put it out there right away so with that out of the way let's jump right into it so we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time you want to type in cmd best match should come back with command prompt you might have to just give it a moment here i'm going to right click on that and then i'm going to left click on run as administrator once the prompt comes up and if you do receive a user account control prompt asking if you want to allow this app to have administrative permissions you just want to left click on yes so again left click on yes there now into our elevated command line we're going to type in slmgr space and then you want to do a minus sign rearm rearm should all be one word so r-e-a-r-m so again, SLMGR, then you want to do a space, minus sign, which is attached to the rearm, which is one word, so minus sign R-E-A-R-M. Then once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard one time. Now that you've done that, I would suggest trying to restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. So I'm just going to left on OK here. Hopefully that has resolved the issue. If it has not, and you've already restarted your computer. Next thing I'd recommend trying would be to go ahead and open up the start menu again. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, all one word. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on that one as well and left click on run as administrator. Again, yes for the user account control prompt. Now you want to expand the H key local machine folder either by double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it and then you want to do the same thing for the software folder so I'm going to do that for software and then I'm going to go down to Microsoft double clicking on that one as well now that we've done that go down to Windows NT so I'm going to scroll down here right here I'm going to double click on it and then I'm going to just left click on the current version folder one time so if you go over and underneath product ID so there should be a product ID in here now I don't want to confuse anybody so I'm probably going to end up blurring this out this is a default product ID so if you go online and look up your version of Windows 10 whether you're running home or professional there will be a different default product identification key you want to type that in here again this isn't like a product key like you would use to activate Windows if that makes sense so if you try and use this, it's probably not going to activate your copy of Windows. So again, I hope I've lost all those people that are coming on this video trying to get some free version of Windows 10. So anyway, getting back on track, I'm going to double click on the product IT here. And underneath the value data that comes up, you want to delete whatever is here or preferably you want to actually save it into like a notepad file or somewhere or write it down and then go online and make sure you have the same value data for whatever your version of Windows is. Keep in mind it will be different depending on what version so if you're running home, professional, enterprise, education basically young guys hopefully understand what I'm saying at this point and you just want to paste it in here or type it in it really doesn't matter to me and then you just left click on OK to close out of it. Would suggest closing out of the registry editor once you're done. Restart your computer. Hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.